Hi folks, welcome to Celebrity Cars. <clears throat> We're located just down the street from all the shiny lights on the Las Vegas Strip. You come here on vacation and you wanna come hang out and uh, you know, you wanna come see some cool cars, take a look around real quick. We've got little hot rods and muscle cars and uh, you know, Ferraris and <clears throat> Lamborghinis and we, got a, we just got out of a Porsche over there. It's just uh, absolutely amazing. Go to celebritycars.com to shop. Okay, so today, we have this, I'm finding, welcome to dusty Las Vegas, folks. There's lots of dust here. Uh, we have a 2007 Bentley Continental GTC. I believe the miles said it has just over, just over, uh, just under 43,000 miles on the odometer. Okay, now, folks, we always get an interesting collection of cars that come in here. Um, Sometimes our detailers uh, shy away from detail. So then I come in here and start to film and it gets pretty funny. Anyway, folks, uh, sometimes cars are uh, very well used. Okay? Um, this happens to be one of them. Um, somebody's had a lot of fun in this car and enjoyed it. Uh, from from uh, 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 10, 10 feet, it looks beautiful. You get a little closer you start to see, uh, you know, some things that, uh, you know, this, this blue and this blue do not match. So at some point this bumper had been painted. I'm just gonna call it like it is, uh, cause you're gonna see it on film and in the photographs. So this has been painted and replaced at some point. I've got some patina on the, uh, the Bentley button here. Um, down here in the chrome area, uh, we seem to be just fine here with this chrome gl grill um, down below. Uh, there's a small mark right here in the middle uh, of the bumper, but uh, other than that, this front bumper down here looks pretty darn good. The headlights look okay. We have a little fogging on each one of the headlights, just so you know. Um, that can that can be, uh, you know, polished out pretty good. Um, I don't see any other marks down here. I don't see any heavy scratches from bouncing up on a, uh, on a, on a sidewalk or, you know, scratches from pulling in the driveway. Uh, way down below, watch how far my hand goes down, folks. Right here, I do feel some. This is all very, very normal. Uh, I feel some on some black plastic down here, uh, but this is just normal stuff getting in and out of the driveway and you know, a, a used car. 2007 here, we're talking folks. Okay, but yeah, the chrome looks good here. These little sockets need to be cleaned out pretty good. Chrome around the B here, although this has some patina on it, looks pretty darn good. Um, up here on this hood, uh, I, I feel that it needs a good clay bar and uh, needs to be shined up a little bit more. But other than that, um, yeah, a couple of these little marks that I think are scratches are just uh, you know little uh, bugs that that, that didn't, weren't removed during the car wash. But um, yeah, this car needs a good polish, folks. Uh, if, if you uh, you know some of the clear coat has a little bit of scratches in it, so I know that can be detailed out. <coughs> Excuse me, um, but you know the, the 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 car needs a little bit more help than just these things. I'm just I'm doing my job here and showing you that this this generally looks nice, except for the discoloration in the bumpers. But let's work our way down the passenger side, and, and we'll get to all the other details, folks. If you're interested in this car, maybe you saw the price. And you were like, hey, wow, man, yeah, let, you should pay attention to this video. Um, front front drive passenger side wheel. We have some curb rash here in the chrome wheel. It is kind of sort of minor, and you really don't see it unless you get really close up. So it's not that bad, although it looks kind of crappy, but it, it's, it's still okay. The rest of the wheels, all in here, there's slight patina to it, uh, slight, very light pitting that's starting. But other than that, there's no clear coat coming off of it or anything. Uh, it's, it's, uh, generally, it's a it's, it's very nice wheel. Tires look good. Uh, I'm gonna look down the side of the car here. I see a small dent right here. Um, a ding, it's from here to here, probably very difficult to see on film, but it's a, a nice little crease right there. Um, all down here along the bottom, this chrome strip seems to be good. Down below that, all that seems to be okay. I got a little bit of uh, crud down here, nothing to, nothing to write home about. It's not a scratch, it's just some crud. Uh, but all down here looks good. Nice and straight, it doesn't look like anybody jumped any bridges or climbed over any parking, uh, you know, parking cones or anything like that. 
all the rest of the door looks good. I'm gonna give it another look for any dings. There's a slight ding underneath the door handle right here. It's very, very small. All these things I'm pointing out, folks, are probably uh, a pretty darn good chance that, uh, you know, a paintless den remover guy can, uh, can fix that. I'm noticing along here, this the uh, chrome. It all has a light scratches in it, uh, patina to it, all the way down the side. Um, uh, just normal wear, folks. Okay, let's move over here to the rear passenger side wheel and tire. I have once again have curb rash from here. It ends about here and there's a little bit here and then it goes away. It's very hard to see, but it does have some curb rash folks. Yes. Uh, not until you get up real close to it and stare at it. Do you really see it? Very shiny wheels. Okay. Back here. Kind of almost looks like we've got two different blues again. Um, got a small scrape over here. Somebody, uh, you know, got a little close to the garage. I'm not really sure, but small scrape there. Okay, let's stay down here. The tail light, passenger side tail light looks good. All down here along the back looks okay. Around the license plate looks good. Up here on the fender, we have some splitting. So at some point, somebody gave this a little nudge and this did some cracking here. Exhaust uh, tips coming out of the back here look all right. There's a small scratch right here in the center of the back, but it's just a little chip. Okay, the back of the trunk looks good, except for this spot right here. Looks like somebody might've put a little touch up paint on there at some point, right underneath the trunk uh, locking mechanism. Let's go up here on the top of the trunk while we're working our way around. Up here looks pretty good. Another bug. Over here looks pretty good. Just some more bugs. Small mark in the paint right here. <clears throat> okay. And uh, we, we talked about this, but you get to see a couple more of these uh, faint scratches in the chrome on its way around. It is what it is, folks. It's how it came here. All right, down here, all right. Looks like we've got a little more of an abrasion right here. It's light, but it's there. So somebody caught this portion here. There's a small scratch right there. Bug. Okay, driver's side rear wheel and tire. Little curb rash chunk right there. Other than that, that's it. You can see once again the reflection in the patina, the little itty bitty, um, um, boy, I don't know what you want to call it. We'll just keep with patina. Little, little itty bitty bubbles, little uh, stuff coming through. It's very mild. As long as you keep some polish on it, it should hold it at bay. Uh, all depends on how you care for your car. Okay. Uh, down here all looks pretty gar darn good. This chrome molding looks good. A couple little marks from getting it. These are small chips down here, folks. One, two, three. Just getting in and out of the car. No big deal. Just pointing them out. Chrome molding all looks good all the way down here to the end. And uh, let me look for any creases or any dings. Looks pretty darn good to me over here. Door handle looks good, getting in and out of the car. Again, we have, you know, this light patina to this chrome all the way around, pretty much. Okay, and let's get back up here to the windshield real quick. Uh, we talked about the windshield at all, we haven't. Folks, the windshield looks great. The most minor of little itty bitty marks that are very, very normal for a used car. I don't have anything to really point out. Oh yeah, you, uh, if it quits, Quincy, do you mind coming over my right shoulder? These, are, you could see, see it in certain light. There's some little light marks in the clear coat, folks. That, that, that could all be shined out. Beautiful reflection. You can see the roof or the ceiling in here in our skylights. So it is a, a very nice surface. Don't, uh, I'm not uh, trying to beat it up too bad, but, but we're not finished. <clears throat> okay, front wheel, curb rash here, all here. And the rest of it seems to be pretty good. 
none of this curb rash, folks, is making me uh, steer to believe that, you know, any of these wheels are bent or anything. Uh, I've driven this car. It drives very smooth. So, um, uh, well, it, it, it drives kind of smooth. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll, we're going to go for a test drive, and, and we'll, we'll pick all that apart a little later. Okay, so we looked at the hood. We've done the windshield. We've done back here on this trunk. We pointed out the... You know, this leather back here has just got a little bit of patina to it. You know, sunlight being dried up and all that kind of stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, could probably be shined up a little better with a little bit of leather cleaner. But other than that, it's okay. All right. Now, in here, folks, um, you know, we've, we've got a couple stains in the leather. Um, they're, they're kind of scattered about. This is part of the, uh, you know, this automobile has been used portion of our show. Um, you know, the, uh, the leather's all here. I don't see any... Uh, any uh, rips in it and it has a uh, good moisture in it still but uh, the stains unfortunately are, are kind of linger and, and they're gonna they're gonna be hanging out they're kind of uh, you know I'm gonna let the camera do the work and look at the photographs at celebritycars.com I'm gonna open this door Quincy sorry um, you know a, a 07 vehicle um, you know depending on how you care for them you know things things can go south so we have the bolster here uh, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty good at worn. I don't see anything separating yet, but, um, you know, just, uh, it's pretty good worn getting in and out of here. And it was cleaned up, but unfortunately that was the best way that we could, we could do. Um, center console looks pretty darn good. I don't see any cracks in the wood yet, but I'm going to sit down in a couple minutes and get in the driver's seat and be able to see all that just a little bit better. Let's go over to the passenger side. Um, real quick, uh, Quincy, you back up the inside of this door panel here. Um, this is all very pretty blue. It's all very nice leather. Uh, unfortunately, we have a lot of scratches getting in and out of the car here um, on the door panel, which is, uh, which is kind of weird. Okay. Um, so there's the, there's the driver's side. Let's go over to the passenger side now. The automatic door just closed over there because I didn't close it all the way, so that's good that that still works. Here's your passenger side over here, getting in and out of the car, or just, you know, normal wear, getting in and out of the automobile. The carpet looks beautiful. Passenger seat, just slight discoloration, slight marks here and there. But again, no tears or rips. Um, let me sit right here real quick while we're here, and I'll get a good, good look at the passenger side door. All this looks good. Barely any scratches getting in and out over here, which is great. And I'm gonna look at this wood here real quick. I don't see uh, any cracks over here. I thought maybe I saw something over here, but I can no longer find it. And all down here looks terrific. Center console looks great. This uh, this door won't close at the moment. So just so you know, uh, ashtray doesn't seem to have ever been used, so that's good. But uh, all this looks, looks good. Little detailing needs to be done. Shifter knobs got a couple scratches on it, but the wood looks good. The start stop button's got a couple little you know, patina on it from hitting the button. Boy, my fingers are dirty. Sorry, folks. Um, but all this really generally looks pretty darn good. But we're going to stare out just a little bit more once we get it outside. A bunch of buttons up here. And we continue to have stains uh, on the uh, on the visor here. Um, again, folks, it's, uh, it is what it is. Glove box. Got a couple little Bentley things in there. Got a CD changer in here still. That's cool. All right, and looking back here on these seats, yeah, it's just, uh, we've already looked at all that. Okay, uh, let me pop the trunk. See if this remote will do it. But I can't, uh, I'm gonna have to get the remote out of the bag because I can't read it through the bag. All right, looks like this one would open the trunk. And it, It opened, but it uh, it did open. Great. We'll leave it at that. Okay. Got a battery charger tender back here. Nice clean trunk. Nice looking carpet. All in good shape. Up here looks clean. I don't see any cracked panels or anything down here. This looks good. The 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 leather uh, the, the the rubber um, <coughs> seal back here all looks terrific. Okay. Put this back in the trunk. I'm gonna close this to it. Here we go. 
boot close. Just make sure that works. Awesome. Okay, let's look at a motor. <clears throat> Excuse me. Twin turbo 6.0. Up underneath here is really nice and clean. The engine compartment is really nice and clean. A little patina down here, uh, just from normal air, air blowing in there, so on and so forth, driving it down the road. Other than that, it looks pretty good. Okay. Next, let's check out this convertible top. So I'm gonna keep this key in my hand. I'm not gonna stick it in the hole. I'm just gonna hit the button. Go ahead. And let's see what the convertible top does. I'm gonna stop this right now here real quick, folks, because I want you to see something that will be difficult to find it. I don't know why my why it's the car is screaming at me at the moment, but okay, come on over here, Quincy. Um, back in the corners, um, the inside, like underneath, once you get it all closed up, uh, we got some staining on the on the top of the convertible top on both sides. Uh, it's it's kind of heavy. I'll show you completely once I get it closed. Here, I'll close it all the way. Sorry about the bell, folks. Oh, it finally stopped. It's nice. Okay. All right, convertible top is up. Quincy, come on in here, please, and steer your camera around to these locations. And you can see how, unfortunately, how discolored all that got back there. It's my job to show you folks this stuff. Uh, so it is what it is. And, uh, and there you have it. Okay, uh, car's running, everything went up. The last thing for us to do is go for, oh, oh yeah, let's, oh yeah. I guess I better get out and talk about this. Here, here's your convertible top. Sorry, folks. We have multiple stains. It could be cleaned a little bit better. Um, uh, you can see where I tried to get a couple off the other day. I should have cleaned this better. Our detailer should have cleaned this better. Overall, it looks pretty darn good over here. Uh, but then you come over here to this portion and you see that these rear windows, the seals uh, with a little bit of this stuff is kind of sort of starting to come undone back here for the rear glass. So, uh, you know, wear and tear, uh, age, so on and so forth, weather, uh, hot sun. Over here we have uh, two holes. Um, they don't seem to go all the way through, but they're not too far behind from going all the way through. I wanted to point those out. Um, and then up here on top, we're, we're okay. I just need to do some cleaning and, uh, and get it cleaned up. But other than that, uh, we have a couple holes and, and some discoloration underneath and so on and so forth. Okay, what's left to do is to go for a quick ride around the block. Let's make sure it breaks, get through the gears okay, and uh, it drives nice. It's currently running right now. It's sitting here purring like a kitten, so we're in good shape. We'll be right back. Folks, here we are outside as promised, 2007 Bentley Continental GT C. What's the C stand for? Convertible. Okay. Um, folks, uh, here we are. It's running. It's very hot outside. We're not going to do a start stop kind of thing. It's already running. We're sitting here good. We've got a good idle. Everything seems to be fine. Air conditioning is going good. Uh, half a tank of gas. <laughs> we're, we're, we're in good shape. Okay. My foot's on the brake. Gonna engage drive and off we go. Okay, 45 miles an hour, gonna hit the brakes here. Three, two, and one. Very nice, very nice. Better than expected. I know we're in a Bentley, I shouldn't have said that, but better than expected. Drives very nice. 
Very nice and smooth. Back on the gas pedal. Brakes are great. No yank to the right or left. No weird wobbles anywhere. Got up to about 45 miles an hour. We're going to go over some speed bumps, get out on the main road for just a moment. No weird rattles, squeaks. Speed bump number two. Everything sounds good here on my end. All right. Super smooth. Okay, back on the gas, out on the road. Woohoo! 552 horsepower pickup. I'm certainly not planting my foot on that gas pedal, uh, but you can definitely feel that this has uh, plenty of get up and go. My right turn signal's on, my foot's on the brake. Folks, for the most part, the suspension's good. It's, it's, it's just fine. There's just, uh, you know, this car's been around a little while. Um, and uh, so it's got a little bit of a, of, of, a, of a loose rattle to it. I'm not sure what that is, but. Um, we encourage pre-purchase inspections. Make sure you go to celebritycars.com to read up all about all the details, where this car's been, the car facts, all that kind of stuff. We're happy to give that stuff to you. If you'd like a pre-purchase uh, 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 inspection, we're happy to help you out with that as well. And uh, there you pretty much have it. You get, but folks, this, this is, uh, it drives pretty good. Great get up and go, smooth road, uh, absolutely brilliant. And uh, you get into a couple little extra bumps. Um, it, it's, it's a little noisier than a new one would be. But that's, you know, with, with every new car, with every used car, you know the story. 702-818-1031 is how you get a hold of either Andrew or Ryan. Give them a call and they'll happy to give you the scoop. And uh, maybe you hop on a plane or you come down the street and check it out yourself. That's it. That's all we have today. We'll see you next time. Thanks.